Hopefully, whatever I make doesn't stink. Ah, uh, ah, uh, get it? Oh, I thought it was funny. Hi, Shanna Rowe Jackson here from Caution Art Set Play, and today I am going to create artwork with the Mr. Sketch scented markers. I have the 12 pack here, and as you can see on the back here, they list all the scents. We have raspberry, we have watermelon, cherry, orange, banana, mint, apple, fruit punch, blueberry, grape, cinnamon, and licorice. And it says that there's three different line widths that you can get which should come in handy. And over here it has the seal pretty much saying it's not going to poison me to use them. So that's exciting. So I'm just going to, we're going to open them up and see how they look. There's not a lot of information on the packaging of these. The markers themselves don't even have the scent or the color listed on them, but they smell fabulous. I'm super excited. This is such a blast from the past for me. They are a chisel nib. I've been seeing these a lot lately and I've been wanting to get them because these are something that I absolutely love from my childhood and I just couldn't resist. So here we go. I'm just going to do a couple test swatches. First I want to test out the black to see the different line widths I can get because I want to do some fine lining and of course it is a chisel nib so I'm not going to be able to get a whole lot of fine lines but I wanted to test it out to see how fine I could get it and I can get some fine lines with it. It's going to be interesting to see. And then I noticed that there's two pinks in the pack and they look an awful lot alike. They definitely smell different. One's watermelon and one's raspberry. But they're only very, like, slightly different in shade. One's a little bit more on the orangey side. One's a little bit more on the blue side. And then since I swatched them next to each other, I decided it would be a fun opportunity to see how well they blend out. These are water-based markers. They're meant for kids three and up. And of course, you know, I'm in my 30s, so <laughs> I'm such a child. <laughs> I had to get these. And now I'm just testing it with some water and a paintbrush to see how well it dissolves in water. Since they're water-based, I want to see if I could get some really cool water color effects, and I can, so that's very exciting. Like, look how well that comes out. That's so fun. And then I decided I was going to take some and scribble it on just a piece of acetate. Anything plastic will do for this. And then I'm going to lift it with a little bit of water and my brush and see if I can distribute it that way. And that works really well for watercolor effects as well. And then I checked to see how bad it bled through my paper. It doesn't bleed through it too badly. I am using the Canson marker lettering paper. And now I am just sketching out what I'm going to do. I want to do something really illustrative. And this is just a fun little sketch that I did in my sketchbook for my classes a couple days ago. And I decided I wanted to do it larger. And I thought this would just be really fun since I'm using, you know, markers from my childhood to do something that would it be fun and illustrative almost storybook like and I really actually like this idea for a drawing so I think I might redo it in my pit pens or in my watercolor pencils or something later on because it definitely came out a little bit sloppier <laughs> than I planned with these markers sometimes it was hard to control so basically in the background what I'm doing is I am just coloring on my piece of acetate. I'm sorry, you can't really see it off screen very well. But I'm just coloring it and lifting it from there with my paintbrush and some water. And I'm putting it on the page like watercolor. And I'm just leaving some white to indicate clouds. And that was actually a lot of fun. Now I'm going right in with my red marker. And this is so much fun because they all smell so differently. And I really thought the mix of smells was going to like give me a headache or something. But it didn't. It was just so exciting. And it just brought me back to my childhood when I used to play with these all the time. And you can get these pretty much anywhere. I've been seeing them a lot lately. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they're fairly inexpensive. I think I spent like 7 bucks on this 12-pack. 
They actually have some fine liner ones as well, which I probably should have gotten, but I don't remember having fine liner ones when I was a kid. I only remember ever having the chisel nib like this, and so that's why I decided to just stick with this 12-pack. Of course, now that I've had to outline this, I... <laughs> really wish I had invested in getting some of the fine liner ones. However, I still had a lot of fun with this and it really did bring me back to my childhood and that's pretty much the reason why I did this. I got my pack right at Walmart, but you can get them on Amazon. I'll link that in the description below. I've also seen a whole bunch of Mr. Sketch things at AC Moore, so it, they might sell them at other places like Michael's and Joann's and Hobby Lobby as well. I'm not sure, but those are the places that I've seen them. Pretty much anywhere that sells kid art supplies, I think. And I was looking at some information online. I didn't see anything about Light Fastness on their website, of course. They did say that they are water-based markers and that they are definitely non-toxic, which is good. And that for, as I said before, they're for children three and up because of small parts. So basically they just don't want anybody swallowing the caps. So I'm just going through and like I said before, I am just using some watercolor techniques instead. And then occasionally I'll go in with a marker itself, trying to darken that up. The paper is starting to pill on me, which is not surprising since these are water-based, but I feel like it held up really well considering that these are not made for fine art applications and they are water-based markers. I think that they're actually pretty good. They blend out really well. I love the effects you can get with the water. The only problem is, is I tend to be a little bit impatient and they take a little while to dry, so I had a lot of feathering. But that's more my issue than the marker's issue. I think I just am not a very patient person. But this drawing didn't take me very long and that's another fun thing about markers. So here you can see I'm going in with my black now and I'm trying to do some line work and already in the stairs it just did not work out well for me. It started to bleed even though I thought that area was fairly dry and the lines are definitely thicker than I would have hoped. I tried different angles on it. Ah, I'm just not as good with a chisel nib as it is and I'm still fairly new to markers so... It just didn't work out well. This is definitely probably the sloppiest drawing I've done in a very long time. However, it smells better than any other drawing I've done in a long time, so there's a win. And I had so much fun. So I guess that's really where it counts. Like, this was probably the funnest project I've done in a while. Definitely a stress-free project. I'm just outlining things and going through... Sorry that it keeps turning all around. I have a bad habit of not taping my drawings down because I like to be able to move them. And also, I'm a lefty and I sometimes have to rotate my drawing in order to not smear, which I still ended up smearing a couple things. I'm just going through and putting in some detail. And I really do like this illustration. Like I said, I think I am going to expand upon it a little bit more. I might do a little village. I don't know. Let me know if that's something that you'd like to see. I know many of you follow me for my realism, but I like to do illustrative things at times too. So if that's something you'd like to see more of on this channel, please let me know in the comments below. And it will most likely come out better than this because I will probably be using materials that I know how to use a little bit better. So, <laughs> And I will be using some fine liners. So I'm sorry, there's some detail that I was putting in on the bottom there that you couldn't see because it was out of the frame. I'm just going through and trying to clean things up a bit and darken some shadows and trying to smooth things out. And going back in with my green. And in this part, I tried to flick some water with a paintbrush against the nib, and it just didn't work well. So I ended up coloring on the side on my acetate like I had been doing and picking it up with a brush at some point and doing some splattering. And I also did some splattering with just water, and it actually left little white dots. Like, it picked up the pigment and, like, it moved it out of the way. So there's why there, that's why there's some lighter splatter there, too. I thought that was a neat effect. And here is my finished piece. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Bye.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe. Also, if you're interested in seeing more of my artwork, I'm on social media, so check out the links in the description below.